BKFC 26. We're back here with Idris Wasi, who just went through an absolute war with Steve Tomahawk Council. Man, you took this fight on 10 days notice. You showed your heart to everybody in this arena, and I think you won the crowd over. Uh, what went right? What went wrong in there? Well, I want to thank you for interviewing me because I felt like when I won my last fight in May, everyone came up to me for an interview. This one, you know, you're the first person. I, re I respect that you're giving me an interview. I really respect that. Um, the, it was a 10-day notice, but I got into a car accident 13 days ago, and I only took this fight because I absolutely needed the money. I got $6 in my bank account. That's the only reason why I took the fight. But I knew he was tough, and I liked it because everyone was giving me props for beating McAllister, but I felt like he wasn't a, a real opponent. And this guy, Townsville, he's, I, I knew it, that if, if I beat him, then I, I meant to be in here. Because he was a, I, I know he's a real fight. He comes forward, he gets dropped, and comes forward. So I, I, I res all respect to him, but I just wish my cardio was better. I would have continued, but a couple of things happened to me that never happened to me. We were just talking about this, me and my buddy Eric Smith. My nose never bleeds, I never, I never break anything. This time something felt weird, and I tried to take a deep breath, and I couldn't, I was like, oh shit. So my cardio was going, I think it was a headbutt, and it was a couple shots after the bell, but it is what it is. At what point in the fight did you feel that in your nose? I think like the end of the third, I was like, oh fuck, something doesn't feel right. It's fucking up my breathing. And then, you know, I never really been dropped in a fight, and it's just getting dropped, but it was, this is different. Like, I, he was really th cracking me. So now I feel like a real fighter, because the first fight, no disrespect to McAllister, but He's not, he's not a threat. He's not, you know, he's no one. This dude was someone. So maybe I should drop down because he, he dropped down from heavyweight to 205. I, I, never, I never felt like a heavyweight. So I think that maybe I should work on my nutrition and drop down to 85 and fight guys like the Coleman event. Yeah. Fight guys more like, I want Uli, I want to fight Uli Diaz and 85ers because I'm, I'm just overweight 205er. Well, man, you went out there, you put on a show, you fought like an absolute warrior, and you should keep your head high and uh, feel proud about what you did tonight. Thank you so much. Right, Appreciate it. Thanks.